Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Got the Dow equity futures off 220 points, about six tenths of a percent. NASDAQ off a little over 1%, 143. S&P is off nine tenths or 37 points. The uh, Russell is off a little over 1%, 22 points to the downside. Gold is almost flat, trading out at 1770. Silver's off 23 pennies, trading at 1922. You've got light sweet crude. She's trading out at 8896. That's buck a buck. That's back a buck 15. Uh, you got natural gas off 23 cents. Uh, tre 30 year treasuries off uh, one point and 20 ticks. 138.26 of the print there. So where is everything headed to? What are we going to be watching here? Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We can see we've got the ES mini. The ES mini is doing a couple of things. One, it's testing. You don't see that here on this set of charts, but it is testing its oscillator unchanged line. The oscillator unchanged line is a key level of support today. That level to be watching is, just trying to find that for you, 42.55. Price holds 42.55, then the bullish momentum trend uh, remains intact for the ES Mini. If price closes below it, then that's going to suggest to move back to the 41.77 level. Now, things should not get too crazy because price is still below the 50-day exponential moving average for the spot volatilities, which is 23.67. Price is printed at 20.47. The NQ is trading below its oscillator and change line. And it's going to need a bit of a rally to uh, turn that around. That needs a close back above 13509 out there. If you close below 13509, the suggestion is a move back to the 13041 level. U.S. dollar index, strong like bull, took out the top of its daily profile yesterday, still trading above that, suggesting a move up to the top of its weekly profile. The resistance zone for the U.S. dollar is at 10839. If you take a look at Goldilocks, it closed below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday, maybe targeting the center of its bearish structured weekly profile as long as price holds 1757.50 the move lower is only a counter trend move in the case of silver its level of support is somewhere between 1847 and 1893 lights we crude trading between trend line support those are the green lines and trend line resistance those are the yellow lines and it's also trading with inside its profile natural gas made an attempt this week to take out prior resistance at $9.56. Now you've got profile resistance at $9.47. And a 30-year treasury may be pulling back to the 135.26 level. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next with the morning market kickoff. Have a fantastic Friday. I'll see you Monday. Love the club. Take care.